Hello everybody, this is Alicia and I'm I'm on here to vent. Um what I want to vent about is the Maryland system. And I mean it probably has something to do, don't mind the fans going on in the back. I have two while we're running kinda hot here. Um what I wanted to say or what well, what I want to talk about because I keep, you know, stumbling. I want to talk about uh, the Maryland government and again this might actually fall into the federal government too but I'm just going to talk about the state of Maryland uh, and I know it's not all you know not all of Maryland but it seems to me like it's most so I applied for unemployment I kind of figured you know I was going to get denied. I really didn't look forward to, um, you know, getting unemployment, whatever the case may be. I, I wasn't really looking forward to that. Now, when I applied, you know, you have your little, um, you have your interview, and they get a female to call you on the phone. I don't know if it's always a female, but that's who call me a female now the first thing is they get these people who are belligerent and they are ignorant and if you would listen to them talk you would believe that they are the ones that are paying you unemployment like your unemployment check would be coming out of their pocket now what I do want to say is uh, they need to think about who they hire before they hire them. Now I know that they have to um, not really tear you down, but they have to get to the bottom because people lie. I understand that, and that's fine. It's, that that makes sense. It's a great way of going about doing things. They have to get down to the bottom, make the decision, whatever the case may be. But what makes me sick is the way that they talk to you. And what I'm about to say is going to be really ignorant, and I, I don't want to come off as ignorant, but this is how they make me feel. I feel like uh, a Maryland unemployment, which is located in Towson, the unemployment office is located in Towson in Maryland, in Baltimore, Maryland. Well, Towson, Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland, I don't know. It's, it's in Towson. They hire low-class ghetto hood rats. This is how I feel. You can tell that they probably got their education uh, from the back of a magazine or they um, got the job through uh, welfare. They probably did. You know, through the system. You know, it ticks me off because they talk to you like that and you're wondering to yourself, what is your purpose of talking to me like that? Like, does that make you feel good about yourself because you have some, right now you have some rank? Honestly, you probably get the independence card, which is the little food stamp card. And uh, I'm probably paying that for you. Now, I'm not knocking food stamps. Don't get me wrong, because some people run into hard times. But I'm talking about those bitches that feed off of the government. They have a bunch of babies by a bunch of different men and, uh, you know, people that are working and paying their taxes are actually paying their way through life. So what the welfare did was give them the opportunity to get a job so that they won't be feeding off the government for a long period of time. But yet they're still feeding off the government because they don't know which guy is the actual baby's daddy. So therefore they can't really take him downtown and get child support. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, that's how I feel. Um, I, I know that I'm probably wrong for t saying that. I really am. But this is my opinion. And I'm entitled to my opinion. Um, what I also want to say is you work hard and you work hard to make your money. That's something that you do. You work hard to make your money. And it's just funny to me how they take all this money out your check. All this money out your check. 
you don't sometimes you don't see half of your fucking check then you run into a hard time and you have to fight to get your money now i i mean i get it okay un, some people feed off of unemployment and they continue to you know not try to get a job and things like that but with the way today's economy is are you really going to force somebody to fight with an employer over unemployment i mean they taking out money for FICA. They take out part of your check. 17% of my check just goes towards state and federal taxes. 17% of my check. My, if your check is only for $2, you're only going to see like 50 cents. Basically, because not only do they take out the 17% for federal and state, but they also take out a certain percentage for FICA which is a social security tax okay a social security tax you should be able to borrow off of your social security depending on how much you put in it when you run into hard times like this you should be able to take some money out your social security well you can't and then you gotta wait till you're almost dead to get your social security and then when you get your social security you only get like two dollars a month then on top of that, what if you die before you get your Social Security? It's going to take forever for your fucking kids to get your Social Security. So let's just say, God forbid, you die and don't have no kids. Where the fuck is my Social Security going? To the next person in line? Then it's going to take them fucking forever to get your fucking Social Security. And then what if ain't nobody else in line to get your motherfucking Social Security? What if all y'all just like burn up somewhere? What the fuck do you do then? So your money just poof, is gone. Our government is a motherfucking shame. The government is a fucking shame. You talk about us if we don't vote. We vote and we still don't see no motherfucking change. Maryland sucks ass. They hire ghetto trash to work in their fucking offices. They talk to you like you're a low-life scumbag, knowing damn well they're living on subsidy motherfucking housing. It makes me so angry, that's why I'm cussing like this. It just ticks me off. I get so tired, and I know that this bitch was from the hood. She had to have been because of the way she was talking. And I swear, if I could have jumped through that phone, I would have wrung that whole neck, and I would have made sure she was bleeding from her fucking ears. I'm dead serious. Our government is a shame. It's pathetic. To be honest, our government is so fucked up. I'd rather go live down there in fucking Cuba and deal with Fidel Castro, to be honest with you. At least I'll get some free motherfucking health care. For real. For real. Honestly. I'm tired of Maryland. I fucking hate Maryland. I hate the people that work for the Maryland state government. I cannot stand them. They take me off. It's not all of them. It's those ghetto ass bitches that they hire. Like, why do you hire these hoes? Like, I understand that they say what they gotta say to get in the door. I understand that, and I understand that people gotta make a living. But y'all need to really like go through and look at who you're hiring because for real, these bitches is crazy. They are freaking crazy. They talk to you like you're not nothing. And and th look, check this. This is how they be talking. Let me. This is how she was talking to me. Hello, can I speak to Alicia? Alicia Brockington, please. This is she speaking. Oh, okay, so um, I'm calling from the unemployment. Um, tell me what happened. Really? Are you serious? Is this a joke? For real? For real? Seriously? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All I'm saying is, is she better hope and pray I do not come down to the fucking unemployment office and just fucking beat her to death. She better hope and fucking pray. She lucky I don't know what her name is. She is lucky. And another thing that I want to say is that fucking La Quinta Hotel in Aberdeen, Maryland is disgusting. For anybody on my Facebook or anybody who comes through YouTube that lives in Maryland or anybody that lives anywhere else and for some odd reason they need to stay in Aberdeen and La Quinta just seems cheap, please run past this hotel. This hotel has bed, and I'm not just saying this because I'm upset, I'm just keeping it 100 with you. They have bed bugs, they have a serious mold problem, they have a flea infestation, and they have a motherfucking roach infestation. No hotel is supposed to have a goddamn roach infestation. Bed bugs, okay, this is understandable because, because people bring bed bugs into the establishment. That shit happens, 
but still they could take care of it mold nowhere is supposed to have a hotel is not supposed to have a mold problem that to the point where it fucking knocks the fucking wallpaper off the wall when your mold is knocking the wallpaper off the wall there is a fucking issue and you need to take care of it and all those motherfuckers that work there with the exception of one or well two and both of them work in housekeeping <laughs> yeah everybody up there every bitch at the front desk is a fucking liar they're all crackheads all of them pop pills they steal out of the register. They lie on you for no reason. Then you got these two Indian motherfuckers in the back. No disrespect to anybody that's a red dot Indian or from India. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be, you know, racist or anything like that. But they are cheapskates. I hate them, can't stand them, and nothing good is going to happen to them. To be blatantly honest, that motherfucking hotel is going to shut down. They are not going to keep that shit open. I'm dead the fuck ass serious. And for real, you probably should find a job now because it's going to happen soon. And remember, God doesn't like ugly. But, you know, I just, I had to get that off my chest because I'm tired of ghetto ass hood rats getting these positions, thinking they better than people. I'm tired of that fucking government, whether it be state or federal. I'm tired of them. They take all this money out your goddamn check. Then when you run into a hard spot, you can't even borrow from your fucking social security to take care of a fucking bill. Then they got this thing, you know, the whole fucking credit score thing. Oh, oh, I mean, some people, they got the money to fucking pay all their bills on time and have motherfucking 800 po like uh, credit score points and shit like that. Well, guess the fuck what? I don't. I don't fucking have that. So if I can't take and pay my bills on time because I can't borrow from my social security or it's fucking hard to get motherfucking unemployment, when it's hard for me to do that, I can't pay my bills on time. So then my fucking credit score goes from what? Something average, like 650 down to motherfucking 436. Because I'm trying to pay my bills. They might not always be on time, but I am trying to pay my bills. And then I run into a hotspot where I ain't got no job. Really? Are you kidding me? Is this a freaking joke? And this is the government that we're supposed to follow, that we're supposed to admire, that we're supposed to pay attention to. Our government sucks. It fucking sucks. America sucks balls. No disrespect to anybody who's out there fighting for America. Great, wonderful, whoopty whoop for you. I'm happy that you're doing that. You chose to do it, but I'm happy that you're doing that. But what I'm saying is, um, it's too much shit with America. It is too much shit with America. We can't mind our fucking business. We can't compromise on nothing. We don't fucking get along. It's more fucking racism in America than anywhere in the goddamn world. And we don't even help people. We don't help nobody. Why are we over there fighting? Does anybody really know why we're over there fighting? We're fighting the war on terror. Okay, fine. We killed Wichacom, so let's, how about, how about we get our people from over there so they can stop fucking dying? How about them apples? Maybe a mother doesn't want to see her fucking son in a goddamn casket. Maybe she's not ready, maybe she's not mentally equipped for that. So now we're trying to help them with that little democracy. Who, no, fuck that. What the fuck was they doing when Jesus was roaming the earth? America wasn't there to help nobody. So why the fuck are we still doing this? Why are we still doing this? Like I said, the government sucks ass. Maryland government sucks ass. They hire ghetto bitches to do these jobs, and they need to start all over again. I'm serious. It's pathetic how these people talk to you on the phone. It's crazy. Then you got companies like credit card companies. You trying to fucking take care of bills and stuff, and they all of us like they outsourcing. They going to India to hire people. <sighs> Seriously, I don't understand nothing that Adu Dhabi is saying, and they calling me on a Sunday. Also, when are you going to take care of your bill? I can't take care of my bill right now, bitch. I'm trying to take care of some other stuff. Hmm. You know what? I'm done. I'm seriously done. Because it ticks me off, and it makes me angry. And the more I sit here and talk about it, the more I think about it, the more angry I get. So you all have a nice day.